Alright, welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Let's head into Serena Beach and head into the Manta Storm. The Manta Storm. Aww. So, and then for our puppers here, we're doing an experiment today. Um, so if you hear a hum, Ren, yeah, we... Ren is pissed right now because <laughs> <laughs> he's very particular about the sound. <laughs> um, but we have our air conditioner running because our area is in like a high, um, Toxin yeah, area, I guess, quality, from bad the, air quality the, right now. the wildfires. Um, so we have to have all the windows closed and limit our time outside and all that jazz. And they recommend turning on your air conditioner so that it filters out all that fun stuff mm -hmm. for the air inside. Well, what's nice is Fado frequently comments on this playthrough. So yeah. we'll have his feedback of like, yeah, Whether he like, finds it distracting or he's just like, meh. Yeah, so just if you <laughs> Didn't hear make much like, of a, difference to me. a weird little hum in the background, it's mm -hmm. it's because we have to have the air conditioner on. Yeah. Um, just so we can breathe that fresh air. But it's suitable because this is the Super Mario Sunshine playthrough and it's all about pollution. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think we need to take Mario and his flood and head over to Canada with those wildfires. Oh my god. <laughs> and it just has like a little water belt. But this is the Manta Storm. Ooh. So a spooky silhouette of a manta ray shows up and torments the beach. It's just Moana's grandma. And we have to get rid of it. Well, Moana's grandma is polluting the place. <laughs> She's putting her granny juice all over the place. Ew. And it's just like, hey, let's get out of here. So here. when you hit it with the flood, it splits up and divides into smaller manta ray. And it's about to get crazy in here because eventually you're going to have like hundreds of little manta rays oh all gosh. zipping about and all of them are electric to the touch Ooh. also the manta ray slime is electric to the touch as well okay this is one of the harder shine sprites in the game oh because if you if you're not careful you can get zapped from one manta ray that will launch you into the other manta ray oh. and it's just hot potato yeah Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato. <laughs> so yeah, potato, if you get zapped potato. too much, grab some coins, head into these little um, fountains to replenish your water, and uh, get ready for the long haul because this part takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I do have a question to pose you. Okay. So with Mario Sunshine, all of the levels are based around the island theme and stuff. Do you mm -hmm. feel like that's getting stale? Do you feel like... It would be better if other games were just like, hey, this is the water level, this is the grass level, this is the desert. Or do you like that it all shares a theme? I like that it's thematic, that oh, it's shit. beach, because I feel like that's very cohesive. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be opposed to some different aesthetic okay. for the locations um, while still maintaining the cohesive overall theme. Do you feel like there's enough variety? Because this is world five and there's three worlds left. I think that's fine. I think that's a fine number. Okay. But it's just like, you know, there are different creatures on each one, so I think that helps a lot. That but, helps, yeah. But I think that it definitely, um, like, if it were to be remade, I would really hope that, like, Gelato Beach would have more gelato. Like, more ice cream, more ah, dessert okay. themes, like, you know, like, beach vendors or something like that. Something to like amp up the fact that it's gelato island okay um rather than just like oh i think when we first dropped down there was like one pile of ice cream and i thought it was a pile of shit yeah <laughs> and i was like oh no <laughs> it was a sand mound and you were just like is that a giant pile of poo <laughs> you were like no i think that's gelato since we're on gelato island oh pull yourself together it's only poo and I was just like, yeah, right. Just like the poop emoji was supposed to be pudding, right? Yeah. See, now it's dangerous. So what's interesting is once we split them up into the tiniest bits and there's no more splits, they all hone in on Mario. Oh. That's the that's the final wave of this boss battle. So just be careful. And yes, even those tiny little streaks of uh, Baja Blast is <laughs> what it looks <laughs> it like. It does look like Baja Blast. Even those tiny little streaks are electrifying, but see how they're all red? Yeah. They're onto them! So now, earlier, they just kind of like floated around or like tried to escape you. Now it's just like, hey, this is the cause of all this. After him! 
Yeah. Mario's like, not today, bitches. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is the second most effective method. Okay. The ideal method is to do the spin jump and spin, and Mario turns into a sprinkler, and he just oh, kind of like showers all of all them of nearby. Them. Yeah. Okay. But it's hard to pull off because you have to spin the control stick and jump at the same time. Okay. So it's just a wee! And that's how he turns into the human sprinkler. I mean, I've turned into the human sprinkler once or twice. Oh, yeah? And what circumstance was that? Um, one was throw up. Ooh, oh my. And then, yep. <laughs> and then one was really, really drunk at the bar. Just, 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 like, ah. Yeah. Sprinkler dance. I gotcha. The old sprinkler dance. Good times. But what's nice is all you have to do is eliminate the, ma the mana ray. Eliminating the sludge helps, but it's not required. Eliminating the sludge just gives you places to Piss. stand. Yeah. <laughs> without getting electrocuted. But like I said, there's a lot. Hundreds of thousands of them. And I'm sure um, the better method would have been to like gradually follow the smaller ones and keep evaporating those. Yeah, before it got bad. Before it got a little out of control. Because now it's just like, whoop, whoop. I it's feel got like bad this written is, all over it. This is how like oh, shit. an ant where I don't want to be. This is how an ant problem happens. Oh, it's just one ant, not a big deal. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! Someone better call the Orkin Man. All of a sudden, there's a lot of ants. And you know what? They climb up trees too. Ouch! Oh, great. See, whereas I feel like this particular level mm -hmm. could have been really cool um, if it was done as like an underwater level. Oh yeah? Yeah. We have an underwater level coming up. Okay. That's world six. That's mostly underwater. Cause like while it's- The main gimmick of this aesthetic has yet to show up. This okay. is actually just uh, the start. So I was gonna say while the mana rays are really cool mm -hmm. of how they're kind of ghostly. Yeah. Um, I just thought it would be cool. For... I will give you a hint. Ghost is like the main theme of this world. Okay. Yeah. So this this particular mission is about the manta ray ghost. But once we eliminate that, we're going to bring back the hotel. And it turns out the hotel is haunted. Oh. So yeah. So yeah, don't write off this level just yet. Okay. And again, we're not done with either of the worlds. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's not that I dislike it or anything like that. I was just thinking if... Like the entire game, the theme is like beach, island. Well, um, you and know, I'm really asking pollution. for you to scratch your brain here, but of the games we've experienced so far, which game do you think has the best level variety? For so just like, oh, that was neat. We got him, by the way. <laughs> Hotel Delfino. I think like if if without thinking too long and too hard about every single game. Mm -hmm. The one that sticks out to me the most is Paper Mario, Origami King. Okay, all right. Um, the enemies change, the music changes, the environment changes. Um, like, it still is very cohesive, mm -hmm. but like, it does have a desert area. It does have yeah. a mountain area. It does have a forest area, mm -hmm. like. But it was all within one kingdom. Yeah, okay. but it, it made sense in the, like, within the game as well. It didn't feel unrealistic. Whereas I feel like if Mario Sunshine here had, like, oh, this is a snow area, it'd be like, what the fuck is a snow area doing in yeah, the middle of, work. like, an island? Like, it just, it wouldn't make sense. Okay. Same with, like, just one random desert. Like, a desert is a lack of water. No, I was There's curious. an entire ocean. Like, it, to I was me, hoping it, you wouldn't say I am Satsuna. Oh, the ice cave and the second uh, yeah. ice cave? They it just, was just magic. <laughs> they just really stood out. I'd be like, yeah. oh yeah? What was no. the name of the first ice cave? <laughs> I like. I would say when it comes to variety, mm -hmm. or Origami King stands out the most. Okay. But if I had to say variety with cohesiveness in terms of style, mm -hmm. yeast. Yeast? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll get to ease. Right now, we got Shadow Mario grabbing another nozzle. And if we hose him down, we will get ourselves a new power-up. Second to that would be Trials of Mana. 
Piles of mana. Piles of mana. Okay. Sorry what happened to Stroke while she's giving the title name. I am still surprised that we came around to Charlotte being kind of like quirky, but yeah. still annoying. Whereas at first we thought she would just be unbearable. Yeah, I just no hate, redeeming I just qualities hate whatsoever. The, um, the, the speech, speech impediment. impediment. I do too. Like her as a character was kind of like fun, but I just hate that speech impediment so mm -hmm. much. Yeah, I, I found it a very bad character choice. It just, I don't think I've ever met somebody that has multiples to such a severity of speech impediments. Usually it's like one or two things one that or you two? can't. Okay. Like whenever I was little, I couldn't say my S's very well. Yeah. They came out as like a t sound. Mm -hmm. But like, I never struggled with like my S's and my R's and my W's and, yeah. <laughs> and my vowel sounds. Like it was too much. I'm like, pick one. Yeah. And make that her, like, her quirk is like, oh, I can't say ours. Like, that would be fine. I feel like that falls on the director. I think that she was just like, okay, oops, I was supposed to do ours, but I did S's there. And the director's like, I don't care. Yeah, it's just like. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. But then again, like, I feel like her character is supposed to be kind of annoying. Like, okay. Just think about whenever we were playing and it was like, she has information that you need. Uh -huh. And she's like, I'm not gonna give it to you. Ha 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 ha. And then like runs away. Uh, <laughs> like, I feel like she's supposed to be kind of annoying. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. But I'm... that speech impediment is just like a pet peeve of mine. Not necessarily like a detriment. I was just like, no. Oh. Those characters, even when I tolerate them, I'm just like, boy, I'd like to see any other character. Like, we're going to go to Adventure Time right now. Yeah. I understand the purpose of Lumpy Space Princess. But she's annoying. But the <laughs> amount of attention Lumpy Space Princess gets, her and Lemon Grab, compared to, like, other characters that yeah. I don't see too awful much, I'm just like, well, okay. Yeah. This is a Lumpy Space Princess episode. I don't know why. I'm going to go look at my phone. Yeah. Like, I understand the purpose of those characters, but, like, I just feel most of them are just overplayed. Yeah. They overstay their welcome. And maybe that's just me, but maybe that's just, like, my personality. Well, I think just it's... Like, mm. I, think, I think it's because we're old. We're old. Like, if you think about 11-year-old Ren, you mm -hmm. think that 11-year-old you would think Lumpy Space Princess was funnier? I don't know. Than the now you? I know 11-year-old Amanda would probably be like, she's so funny! Like, <laughs> I probably would have tolerated her more, but she still wouldn't have been remotely my favorite. Yeah. Because, like, even as a kid, I was, like, tolerable with C-3PO. I loved C-3PO. And that's okay. Hey, check it out. So now we have enough shine sprites to get the shades. So now there's just, like, a little bit of tint, and Mario wears shades. Ta-da! Um, Just a little special aesthetic. Yeah. I need to get in the habit of wearing my sunglasses. Yes, you do. I like, I walk outside and I can't open my eyes. Well, like I was saying, like, I'll go to lunch, go back out to the yard and be like, holy shit, striking. Yeah. It's like someone just put like a spotlight lamp and was just like, ching. I mean, like, I don't, it's not even like I open my eyes and can't see everything because it's too bright. Like, I physically can't open my eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> That might be something a bit more serious. <laughs> yeah. So just then, maybe. And then I just struggle for wait about a minute, five wait minutes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So I squirt this guy with water, but he's allowed to like jump into the ocean and swim. What? Does the ocean water negate your water tank? Like, is your water tank salted water? <laughs> I don't know. Or like, like with can... a with a little bit of lemon, like you would do for cats, you put a little bit of lemon in the water and squirt them because they don't like the taste of lemon. Ah. Maybe like floods water is different. Maybe it filters it and it's like purified and. He's like, Shadow yeah, Mario's it's like, ah, you purified the water. Or he goes into the polluted ocean, like, yes, my trash, <laughs> my filth. I don't know, that just like really took me took me out of it for a second. I was just like, hold it, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you should be taking, that should be an insta-kill. Yeah. It's like, haha, I lured you into the water. I tricked you. Now give me my nozzle. But he's just like, nah, I, I could swim the whole time. 
It's like one of those kids that you like play those games with. And it's just like, I had the invincibility shield on. Yeah. It's just like, but you're it. I tagged you. Ah, ah, ah. I had the tag resistance shield. I I'm just like, hated that. I don't want to play anymore. Like, we had one kid like that in our neighborhood growing up. And it's like, we were always outside. Mm -hmm. You know, hashtag 90s. My mom would lock the door and we had to go play outside all day. Um, we'd come home, there'd be sandwiches on the porch. Like, <laughs> Uh, and the, the one kid was like that. He'd always make some excuse as to why he wouldn't be it. Yeah. And it's like, so we would literally state the rules at the beginning of the game. <laughs> of like, there are no shields. There are no, like, reverses. There are no nuh-uhs. Like, if you get tagged, you are it. Yep. And then he'd go home. Basically. He took his ball, said, screw you guys, I'm going home. All right, let's clean this up. Yeah. The this only is game long like overdue. he the only game he didn't do that with was when we would play kickball. Okay. Probably because he'd end up getting the ball kicked to his face. <laughs> well, it's also like there's really like you can't nah -uh in kickball. Mm. Okay. Cause we made up a lot of games too. It wasn't necessarily established. Playing pretend. Yeah. Ah, the days when you could play pretend. I play pretend now. I smile every day at work. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Look at Mario styling and profiling. Those sunglasses help yeah. with his with his mean face. It does, yeah. Now you can't tell he's actually angry about doing all this. Like son of a bitch. <laughs> Gotta clean up for this island. All I did was want to go on a vacation. I feel like uh. he's I feel like he's a cop now, though, with his mustache and his sunglasses. Oh my god. Now I want to make a short... <laughs> Hawaii Five O. And it's just going to be like... Starring Mario. Someone's riding a Yoshi and he's going to be like, you know how fast you were going. He checks the shell of the Yoshi. Looks like your license plate... Looks like your license plate expired. <laughs> Bleep me. He stops another character. They have a little baggie of mushrooms. What do we got here? <laughs> like. <laughs> Alright, let's clean these polluted bells. Oops. Up. Alright, not through there. Go up and around. Oop, hang on. Mario's like, Jesus, position yourself you get, just right. You get one assault case, and suddenly they put you on cleanup duty. <laughs> Woohoo! There we go. Yep. Sometimes all you need to do is a little bit of cleanup in the plaza, and you get a shine sprite. Sometimes all you got to do is a little cleanup in the plaza, and you get, you know, probation. That too. <laughs> I'm a Mario. I'm on probation. Woohoo! He said, hey, Luigi, uh. So, I got another question for you. If one of the future Mario movies was based on this game in particular, how would you feel? What? If one of the future Mario movies, since it's, it's clear they're making sequels to the Mario movie, yeah. was based on Al Delfino, how would you feel? I feel like it would have to be done in a very specific way to not be super preachy. Oh, okay. So they still gotta have like the fun-filled silliness and not yeah. like clean up this world. Yeah, I don't think it could just be Mario being like, can't... "This is why we put the re the can in the recycling bin." <laughs> like, they they can't have Peach go up to a tree and be like, "Can't you feel its pain?" Yeah, <laughs> because that didn't I mean, work out too well. That's yeah. Um, Did you like Fern Gully? I love Fern Gully. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. But I don't think I so much loved the fairies of, like, the the woodland fairies of Ferngully mm -hmm. as, like, I mean, I I just enjoyed the overall movie because I like because I like nature. I got you. All right, let's clean this bell. We cleaned the one the bell. Now we clean the this the bell. We're making our way to 40 shine sprites with all this. Quasimodo will be very happy. I'm cleaning all the bells. Clean up. Yeah, you gotta be specific. Every little dash. You gotta clean the underside. Ugh. 
Whoops. Ah, I wasn't finished. I didn't finish my work. Oh, come on. Come on, Mario. Don't be all twinkle toes on me. Don't go cheap on me, Dawson. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now that we did a little bit of cleanup, we're gonna head over and continue some of the other worlds in the next episode. We do have World 6 that has been open for quite some time now. We'll probably check that out soon. <laughs> and then we just have to unlock World 7 and World 8. Okay. But we're not even close to finishing the game. Like, we're close to revealing all the worlds, but we're not close to finishing the game, if that makes sense. We got a lot of Shine Sprites ahead of us. And a big journey to go. So we'll see you all in the next episode.